Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it's Testing Tuesday. So we're going to test out some new product, well, new to me anyway, and I'm going to see how it reacts, works, whatever, and what my opinions are of it. But before we get started, I need to introduce my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael Sean Carter. Hello. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope everyone's had a wonderful Tuesday. Good evening. And before we get started, let's see who's in the chat tonight. So, of course, as always, we have our lovely, vivacious moderators. We want to thank our mods for everything that they do. Cheryl's here. Yay! Doris is here. Everyone say hello to Cheryl and Doris, if you haven't already. Of course, Deanne is here. Hey, Deanne. Lady Mist. Hey, Lady Mist. Hello, hello. There's Judy, Patricia, and let's see, Jeff B. Hey, Jeff B. Hey, there's Mike from Creator Spotlight. Hey, Mike. And let's see, Julie's here, Arizona Rock Garden Designs by Julie. Oh, no. And let's see, who else, who else, who else? Oh, there's Mary Lou Bush. Hey, Mary Lou. Yay! Um, I see Diane and Tony. Are they here? Yep. Diane and Tony, hello from North Carolina. Hey, hello. guys. Hello. That's so awesome. All right. I think we've got everybody in the chat. If I left you one out, please jump in there. Let me know. We'll give yes. you a shout out. Do a big, night. do big bold letters. Michael, you forgot me. Say, hey. You're allowed to shout. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. So, but first, before we get started on today's thing, I want to show you what ha happened with last week's um, um, experiment. Um, I stacked them up. I should have stacked them up. Um, what I think is they glow. These do glow. So the product does work. It's just it, it, the flow trial did not. It left these little bumpy things on there, which is kind of cool. I'm going to, I'm on the fence about leaving them because it's kind of cool. But the black took over. So tomorrow I'm going to mix up a fresh batch for Artapalooza. And we're going to do a fresh batch, but they do glow. This one, these ones, not so much with the black over the top of them, but like this one, this one glows really cool. Um, this one, lots of black. But I also have another thing that we're going to try out next week over the top of these. So um, it's, 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 we're going to see what happens. So we're going to do some stenciling. So I got to get my silhouette cooperating with me but there's some really cool lacing in there so all in all the product itself is good it does glow in the dark how long it glows depends on how long you charge it for so i'm gonna um put these aside so we don't get paint on them technically this is no paint on the back counter michael because they're done <laughs> okay so but i, I have a I trust you I have a project for this for next week that we're going to do um, some other type of fun stuff. So tonight we're going to be working with some um, various products. But the one that I really am excited to try is this Dragonfly, if I can say it, Dragonfly Glaze. And this particular one is a red, violet, blue shift. Now what I did with this is I shook it up for like 10 minutes because I wanted to make sure it was good to shake it up. Okay, not really 10 minutes, but it felt like 10 minutes because my arm was really tired. And I stood here and I talked to the dog because Scout was out there barking. And I'm like, dude, what are you barking at? There's no one out here. It's just me. It's just you. Are you barking at the bugs? Why are you barking at the bugs? They didn't do anything to you. But <laughs> so I, that's what I did. Talk to the dog. He and miss, then he misses you. Yeah, he misses me. Shh, psh, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. This um, I mix just with Floetrol. Now, this this is also what we're trying. We're going to experiment with as well. I found 
my strainers, okay, and I strain that stinky flow troll um, through this paint strainer, which is, I would say it's more fine than pantyhose, okay? So those of you who strain through pantyhose, this took me like an hour to do like three cups because I had to keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. And I went through two of these and I only got like a half a gallon, not even a half a gallon. Cause that's the last, I got two cups worth. And then whatever that is, that's probably another third of uh, three cups right there. And then I mixed it with the red, with good flow troll that I got at Menards. And so it was three good, three good parts to one bad part. And we're going to, that's, what is going to be mixed in the paint because I want to see if I can use that up and not have it affect this too much. So um, I mix just this with just flow troll and a little tiny dash of water. And then tonight we're going to be using another uh, folk art product called Color Shift. And this is the Plum flash and i'm like ooh, plum would go really well with this this is my favorite red okay this is like the most luscious red and it's called bardo red and it's by arteza and this stuff makes me very very happy it's like my second favorite color next to dioxazine purple from liquid Tex basics so this is just a really stunning red and then I've got my basic white as well. So we're going to do some flip cups on some tiles because you know me. Well, if you're new here, you don't know me. But hey, if you're new here, welcome. Let me say welcome really quick before I forget because I sometimes talk too much and then I get going. And yeah. And so thank you for joining us. Welcome. Um, if you're enjoying our little artist vibe and want to join a creative tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe, hit that notification bell because we go live five days a week and you don't want to miss a thing because we have a lot of fun creating some great art. So <laughs> yes, Julie, my nards. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there is a 12 year old boy that lives deep in the heart of me. That is funny and creepy all at the same time. Yeah. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and layer these flip cups a little bit. We're going to put just a little bit of the dragon glaze on top. Just because I want to see um, what kind of effect. Now, this is mixed two to one. So, one ounce paint to two parts flow troll. Okay. We got that. And then let's do whoop to do. Do a little red. Do, do, do. So how is everybody's weekend? I hope everybody had a safe and glorious weekend. You had a good weekend, Michael, wouldn't you say? Yeah, very much so. It's wonderful weather here for Southern Illinois, especially this time of the year. Yeah. So, yeah, we really enjoyed it. The warmer climate was actually not mixed in with a lot of humidity. So it uh, it was really nice. So, yeah. yeah. And um, we're actually experiencing some pretty decent weather. So it was nice. We got outside. And yeah. We, we, we took we, the uh, the Jeep out. We did some Jeeping. Yeah, and we yeah. Uh, did some home improvement projects. Yes, we have. Been working Found on out that we can actually work together and not want to kill each other. <laughs> hey, there's Brookie Cookie. Cookie! She says, hey, y'all, I'm driving again. Can't chat much, but hey, hey, hey. Be careful out there. Okay, so let's see. Deanne has a question. Is your color shift? Flash is it two to one as well? Yes, the color shift is two to one. Two parts flow troll to one part paint. That's how I mix the majority of these folk art paints. Um, I have there's a couple that are on the thinner side, so I'll mix them one to one. That's how I start off is one to one, and if it's if it's still too thick, I add a little bit more flow troll to it, 
And if it's still too thick after that, I'll add just a little bit of Floetrol and water. Um, I have a mix that's 50% Floetrol and 50% water that I do um, just because I don't like using straight up water. And then I do have a Mr. Mister. Um, you can get these at Hoppy Loppy or Sally's or any beauty supply store. And they do a mist instead of a squirt. Okay. And I miss the tops of my cups when I store them. So there's just that tiny minuscule part of, um, of water. Let's see if I can remember what I'm doing. Actually, we're going to go straight into the white. So Angela has joined us hello, and Angela. I see Judy in there too. I don't know if we said hello to Judy earlier, but hey to both of you. <laughs> Judy. Great weather in St. Louis, Missouri. Spent weekend with the grandkids. Fantastic. Man, that's... We need to get to St. Louis. Yeah, we're like less than two hours away from St. Louis. We need to get down to Nashville, too. There's some, there's some peoples I need to see. I miss. I must have not put as much in there. <laughs> oh, that cup's kind of sad. She was saying she's very excited to see the dragonfly glaze close up. I am too. I'm like, you know, I don't think it's going to be much to see until it dries. But, <clears throat> and I promise this time I will actually post pictures. I just, I have been busy unpacking not only Studio A and Studio B. <clears throat> but also kitchen A <laughs> and yes. storage for kitchen B because <laughs> I have like so much baking stuff and so much just stuff. I can confirm nonstop <laughs> you've been working on getting, you know, both kitchens and, and this studio, the other studio with the workshop and everything that we've wor been working on. There is a ramp that's on the back deck. Um, we've been working on it. Uh, just to come out and say, I think everyone kind of knows, my father has been in the hospital. He's been in rehab therapy. Um, it's just, it's a tough situation right now. We're hoping for some improvements. His mobility is not good. So he still will better. He's we're, feisty though. He's Gotta feisty. give him that. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, we're just kind of making some preparations, but um, all things considered, Appreciate all the good thoughts and prayer and just um, we're going to keep positive thoughts. Yep. And, you know, we're just preparing for if he needs to come stay here or if he, you know, can go home. But we need to make sure that someone's there with him, you know, to check on him and make sure he's eating properly and doing all the things. But we're just going to see how things go because that, that man sure is spicy. I'll give him that. That he is. <laughs> even, even now I know where Michael gets it from. That. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that uh, sheer Irishness. Uh -huh. So thank you to everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks, Cheryl. <laughs> Brick. Oh, crap. Just blind as hell with my brights. My bad, <laughs> says Brookie. Brick. Whoop. You are the bane of my existence. I hate people who do that to me. Because <laughs> I always seem to be the one that gets that. Okay, so these are kind of layered. I kind of put, tried to put the dragonfly gl glaze in between some of the layers of like the red and the white so I don't get pink. Not that I don't want pink. I, I Well, I don't, but... Um, I more want I'm more going for the the red and because I want these to be I'm always experimenting with red because red is hard sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna flip these one at a time. I'm gonna flip them and then um, I'm gonna swipe them right away because I'm noticing um, with the weather change, 
that when I flip them, they're starting to leave a ring around here. So I'm going to flip them, give them a couple of taps, and then I'm going to lift them right away so we don't have that ring. Oh, she's leaving mom's now. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, we always have that streak in us. Irish and German. <laughs> right here. What a mix. <laughs> Irish, German, and Native American. Sounds like a smorgasbord. <laughs> and a few mm -hmm. other things. Dutch and Gaelic. That would be a good conversation. <laughs> I know someone who speaks Dutch. Mm -hmm. My friend Leela actually lives in the Netherlands. Well, that kind of turned out pretty cool. Kind of looks like a candy cane. It's kind of got. Yeah, it's kind of got that candy cane vibe to it. Got some of that cinnamon to it. Mm. Somebody was having coffee in a dilly bar. I can't remember <gasps> who that was in the that chat. That sounds who, really who good. I haven't had a dilly bar in like forever. In bar. Who's having a dilly bar and where is mine? Fess up. <laughs> Patricia, okay. Okay. Where's go. mine? <laughs> I haven't had Dairy Queen in a long time. You know what I actually like really better than Dairy Queen is Cold Stone Creamery. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't think we have one around here, do we? Oh, uh, we do. Yeah, not close. <laughs> well, no, nothing's close. Not real close. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, once again, uh, we talked about Paducah, Kentucky, which is not that far away. And that's where Michael's is at. But yeah, there's one there. Pretty sure. Could be one in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. That's not too far. No. Paducah's only, what, 45 minutes? Hour? I would drive an hour for Cold Stone. Because yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Absolutely. Okay. Yep, Mike. She snorted. <laughs> yeah, I tend to do that when I'm excited. We start talking ice cream. Okay, so I found my ice cream maker when I was unpacking. Here's the thing that I didn't find. The lid to my crock pot. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm like, it's MIA. I, I don't know where it went. So I got a message to my daughter and see if I accidentally put it in with all the baking stuff I left behind. So joining the chat, there's Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. I would wave, but I'd get paint everywhere. And also, there's Kim. Hey, Kim. Hello, Kim. Kim from Cre uh, Creative es Escapades. Yes. Her and I have been together been watching each other's stuff for a very long time because we this time last year we were doing the youtube 100 challenge that's the crazy thing about life oh wow this has turned out really cool i kind of like that ribbon they're going to bring that to the corner that is awesome sherry said she just had thanksgiving turkey dinner leftovers oh that she must be in canada because Canada had their Thanksgiving on Monday, if I remember correctly. Okay, I got to fix that one part. Let's see if I can find something to fix that one part. Okay. With. <laughs> While you're doing that, it looks like that Mary Lou Bush has a question. Other okay. than on Amazon, where do you think I can find the paints? Find, find these paints? I got these at Walmart. Um... <clears throat> they do carry them at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm not sure about Michael's. It's been a minute since I've been into a Michael's. Um, so, I might have to yeah, do Deanne a triple one. Walmart. What's that, Ben? Yeah, Deanne. Deanne said Walmart. 
Yeah, yeah. they're at Walmart. <laughs> yes, Canadian. I dated a Canadian once. I lived in Minnesota, so it wasn't, you know, that far of a stretch. <laughs> Kim mentioned that with that challenge, she said almost died on that challenge. I know. That was like craziness. Craziness ensued. But you know what? We met a lot of really good artists and a lot of really good people. And I'm grateful to Johnny for that, for putting us up to that. Because I was, I, I had been doing research, <laughs> I say quoted with my quoted fingers, um, on doing YouTube for like a year. And I just, my friend at the time was like, oh, you're too old to do YouTube. And I'm like, you know what? Screw you, dude. <laughs> and I did it. And here I am. Okay, we're going to get some of that off there. That is wicked cool. Hmm. Brooke said that she almost hit a mailman. Uh, you need to, like, slow down. <laughs> Oh my God! Something. Woman, Jesus! I'm gonna torch all of these all at the same time, and then I'll bring them all up for a close up. We're gonna let them just kind of chill out for a minute. <laughs> I hope the garbage man doesn't have this bag break open because this is probably not an appropriate thing to see. <laughs> Be thinking what in the hell is going on Cheryl says you can also get the dragonfly glaze at Michael's okay oh we have someone else join us but the chat's going too fast I can't read it babe see here Patink. oh they are on the michael's website okay Oh, wow, this is good. Okay, I don't want any part of this to go away. <laughs> I like this too much. Okay, you go up this way. There we go. Try not to breathe heavy. I'm all excited. <laughs> so Brooke says she's home. Got to get a beverage. Yes. So. Hey, Brooke, did you watch uh, Michael's first pour? Anybody else? Did you watch Michael's first pour? I uh, I, I need to post pictures of the dried po the dried results because they are Michael did amazing. Yes, I mix the paints and everything, but part of it is just knowing what to pour together and. I don't want these to crack, so I gotta dump some of this off. Actually, I kind of like it like that. All right. I'm push some of this back. All right, let's torch these babies. Brooke says, well done, Michael. Thank you, Brooke. Yes, actually, Cheryl, uh, thank you very, very much. I did. I read uh, in the uh, replay and very appreciate. And you know what? It, it's appreciated just to have the opportunity to do it. It, it was, it was, a lot it was fun. loads of fun. Yeah, definitely. So looking forward to something like that again.
flamethrower and freckles. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, some really cool cells. There. Okay, so the white paint is a combination of, if you're new and you don't know, um, of color place, white house interior paint. Um, so it's three parts paint, three parts that, one part titanium white. I mix that together, and then I do two parts flow troll to one part paint, sometimes three, depending on the flow troll. <clears throat> I look like I got carried away with blueberries, but <laughs> so <laughs> Tish, Michael, Sarah, Diane, Brooke, and Jay. I don't know if Jay would be willing to do it. Sure, he can. He can do it. <laughs> I can do it. He can do it. <laughs> that's a ch is that a challenge, Michael? No. Hey, that's just, that's just, you know, brotherly love right there. <laughs> okay. So here's the first one. I apologize for the glare. I haven't quite figured out how to get that, but... Uh oh, if we're going to be able to focus, because I turned the autofocus off because otherwise it goes wonka wonka. Okay, so there's that one. To learn how to turn it back on for. There's that one. There's some really cool lacing and some really cool cells going on here. That purple and the red. And that kind of gray color is, is I'm thinking the color shift or the, the dragonfly mixed with the purple. So, yeah. Oh, Michael went and got his painting. Are you going to show it, babe? Mm -hmm. So that's the dried results of his painting. So yeah, that silver, that top part is all silver. Really cool. And just like Cheryl was talking about, it's kind of a... There's a bird. Fowl. <laughs> with with bul big, big with bulging <laughs> eyes. Like... Dude! <laughs> so... This one is called Daffy. Yeah, we called it Daffy. So there we are. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody loves it, Michael. <laughs> a foul, foul. Yes. <laughs> that, that painting went a foul. Well, no, she spelled it like F O U L yeah. and yeah. then F O W L. It was done by a quack. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, you gotta make sure I get all the sides. I was clear coating coasters the other day. I still have problems making sure I get all my sides. So that's why I have paint markers, though. So <laughs> if you get ones that have the sides painted, that means I didn't get all the paint all the way around. But this one's really cool. And the, for whatever reason, that red, it, I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty. I like it like that. I see a dragon head in that one, but that's me. Okay. And then there's this one. So, there I got all my corners. There goes my phone. There we go. The red is the Bordeaux red from Arteza, which is my favorite red. 
Um, next to the Rust-Oleum Metallics Metallic Ruby Red. That's my ultimate favorite because I love metallics. Metallics are my thing. They're my jam. So, but we're going to see how these dry. And I will, I promise, promise, pinky swear, <laughs> post dried pictures tomorrow morning so you all can see on our Facebook group. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, get over to Facebook, do at The Artist Haven. That'll bring you to our page. And like the page, please. And then hit join group up at the top. And that'll lead you to our group. And answer the questions, please. I appreciate because that helps me keep spam out and people that are haters out. Because we are a group where we uh, encourage all kinds of posts, all kinds of art, except politics. That's the only thing I'm, I'm like, mm -mm, no politics, please. So we try and stay away from that because no, it's just, it's ugly this year. It's ugly. It's ugly every year, but it's exceedingly ugly this year. And I don't want people getting ugly. We're there for love and support and and that kind of thing. So I will not kick you out for posting pol political posts, though. I will just say, hey, please kindly for refrain from that. We're removing this post because we love you, just not your post. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I will post pictures of these tomorrow morning-ish. Um, but... Also, join us for Artapalooza tomorrow night, where I'm going to try some of that um, that uh, neon paint, the glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm going to mix it with white this time instead of black. So we're going to see if that works better. I'm also going to mix it with um, this base, because there's no chunks in this base that I saw as I was pouring it, and there's no anything like that. So... Join us next week to see the dried, dried results. Um, and also, we're going to be doing some fun projects with glow-in-the-dark and reflective paints. So, that being said, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Join us tomorrow night, 7 p.m. for Artapalooza. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so very much. Remember, be kind to one another.